Welcome back to Sunday's Well Spent. My name is Abby Bliss White with Bliss Holistic Health and today I want to talk about some simple breakfast options. So yes, I am a breakfast pusher. <laughs> oh, many people are so busy that they end up skipping breakfast, but I just want to let you know that the sooner you eat, the sooner that you are boosting your metabolism and burning those calories. So really it is important, not just for your energy and overall health, but it's also gonna stoke up that metabolism and um, help you overall eat less during the day. So today I wanted to talk about some really quick and easy options. Um, and to, we are going to be making some overnight oats. So I just wanna show you how quick and easy this can be. You can make several at a time. I have just got some of my favorite ball jars. I think these are the pint ones. They have a nice large opening here. And all you have to do is take um, half a cup of rolled oats. And I have the Bob's Red Mill Extra Thick Oats. Adds a little bit more bulk and taste. And I am going to just take half a cup and fill up my mason jars here with half a cup each of the oats. Um, the great thing is, is even my kids like these. These are really super easy and you can have them get involved and actually customize and make some of their own overnight oats, which can be kind of fun. So again, that's one of the things we have trouble with. My kids are so busy. Um, and when the first thing they get up in the morning, they do not feel like eating. So it's been a constant battle. So we've always working um, to find a few things that they'll actually have a few bites of. And this is one that has worked. Um, to that, I'm going to add a teaspoon of chia seeds to each of these. Um, as you know, I am a huge chia seed pudding fan, which is another great option to make that you can make ahead of time. Um, but I like to add that to my overnight night oats so that it gets a little bit of a, a bulky taste to it. Um, adds some more texture. Then to that, that's going to be your base. So we've got half a cup of oats, one teaspoon of chia seeds per. Um, then to that, we just... Um, maybe if you saw my other video, we made some hemp seed milk um, or your non-dairy milk of choice or milk of choice. If you do not have any issues with dairy, please feel free to use that. But I have just what I like to do is just coat. I would say that we are adding about three fourths of a cup to a cup of milk per jar. Basically, I'm covering it right on these jars right above the B here. And again, I would say that it is about three fourths of a cup. We're filling that up and I'm going to add, I need a little bit more on that one. But we've got those filled up. I give them a quick little stir here. Just want to kind of help facilitate the uh, texture so that the milk absorbs into the oatmeal and softens it so it's ready to go. Now you can leave it at this point and just put on the cover. Um, if you like to sweeten your oatmeal, you go ahead at this point and add a little drizzle of honey. I tend to leave them plain because in the morning I sort of like to customize them. Another thing that you can do right now though is let's say that you were just really want a grab and go option is you can add a few lovely berries to the tops of these. I'm adding in raspberries today, um, but you can do any sort of. Um, fruit or berry apples. I generally don't use bananas because they'll get a little brown. I will add those in the morning. So then I've got my berries here. I'm going to add a little bit of shredded coconut because that's something that I love here. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the top of my 
overnight oats here. And then if you want to, you can add in some sliced almonds, okay? So this is like basically all ready to go. And the great thing about this is that you can eat them cold or warm. So say you are wanting to heat this up at the office, you can just pop this in the microwave for about a minute and then you can enjoy your overnight oats warm. But these are all ready to go. I'm just going to put on the lids. And basically I've already got my grab and go breakfast ready to go. Um, the other great thing about this is that you can make as many as you want. I generally make about three because that's about what I'm wanting to eat throughout the week every other day. Um, but you can make up to five and just have them ready to go. They will last up in the fridge for five days. So that's one option. Now I want to talk about a few of the store-bought options or just quick and easy breakfast ideas. So we've got those going. I also want to talk about just simple, say you don't want to do any of that. A simple breakfast is just eating simply a banana with maybe a little sunflower seed butter. Another one of my favorites is cashew butter. If you haven't tried cashew butter, it is absolutely delicious. Give that one a try. But just a banana with a little smidge of nut butter. That's gonna give you a little perk of energy. Bananas are a resistant starch as well, so that is going to, even though I know they they come, they are higher on the high higher on the glycemic index. They have a lot of potassium. They also have a resistant starch that isn't going to spike your blood sugar. Um, and they are also loaded with fiber. So that's another good option. Just simply an apple and nut butter. Really simple, easy breakfast. Just wanting to not to just think about it. <laughs> easy to go. Another couple options are, I just discovered, um, is a piece of toast. Everybody loves having a little piece of toast first thing in the morning. But the Franz, I would have never purchased this. I Franz is kind of like the Wonder Bread of, uh, in Portland, that's our local bakery, and it's kind of like the Wonder Brand, um, Wonder Bread, <laughs> the squishy white bread equivalent. But I was actually really pleasantly surprised. They make a really clean, gluten-free bread and I'm so excited because they actually use extra virgin olive oil. They don't have any of the crappy oils in here. Um, they are using whole grain sorghum. Um, they have, they do contain eggs, but this is basically cultured rice flour, brown rice flour. Um, it just wasn't as scary as I thought. So this um, Franz gluten-free bread, the cinnamon raisin is to die for. And then we have just their great seed um, gluten-free bread. Again, this is just a new discovery. And Franz, I believe they are across the country, I believe, but I'm not positive. Couple options, so one slice of toast with a little bit of nut butter and a banana is a great energy boost, really super easy to make. Um, another thing is some toast with just a little smear of grass-fed butter. Um, the Kerry Gold is your gra really good source of grass-fed butter. Don't be afraid of that. I wouldn't coat it on, but a little bit isn't going to kill you. Um, and hard-boiled eggs. So again, you can cook those, have them ready to go. You can cook them on Sunday <laughs> and have those ready to go for a really easy breakfast or a snack, but want to point that out. Um, okay, a couple things. Yogurt, if you can tolerate dairy or yogurt. Sea geese is one of my favorite kind of yogurts because it has less sugar. So just in general, just so you know, yogurt, milk in itself is going to have seven grams of sugar um, in milk itself. Um, so you want to, after, when you're looking at the sugar content, you want to think about seven grams of sugar. Anything above it is the additional sugar that they added in. So this one has nine grams of sugar, which is not totally bad. Um, the thing is this has 14 grams of protein. So super easy. Um, plain, of course, is your best bet. And then you can um, sweeten it yourself with a little raw honey. Otherwise, just buying some of their um, fruit flavors, just making sure that you're not going over um, you know, want to make sure about that sugar content, okay? Um, but 14 grams of protein, this is only 100 calories, so easy. 
top this with a little bit of raspberries, some almonds, and you are ready to go. Maybe add in a little chia seed for good luck. The other thing I just discovered um, for my non-dairy people who are avoiding dairy is Kite Hill. So this is a almond milk yogurt. I was a little bit bummed out the sugar's kind of high on these guys, but they do have plain. So um, when we picked this up, I picked up peach, um, I picked up plain, and I also picked up um, vanilla. But these actually taste really amazing. They have that lovely yogurt. Um, if you're missing yogurt, like your dairy, and you can't tolerate it, this is a great option. I know a lot of you probably eat that so delicious um, coconut milk yogurt, which is also great. But these ones have slightly more protein. So this has like five grams of protein in both of these. So this is another option that I would love for you to find. And I believe that is across the country as well. Another one I always like to talk about is avocado toast. It's such a great little quick and easy um, breakfast. And again, I would suggest finding um, your gluten-free or your Ezekiel bread if you are fine with eating whole grains. Um, the Ezekiel bread that you find in the freezer area is wonderful. Um, but I'm going to actually try this great seed with a little bit of avocado, half an avocado, mash that up with a little sea salt, maybe a drizzle of olive oil, and you are going to be satisfied for hours. Um, last but not least, someone was asking me about um, the Susie's Thin Cakes, and I have to admit, I am a fan. Now, of course, we're getting more into the processed, and I'd rather have you eat whole foods, but in a pinch, I would rather have you eat breakfast versus no breakfast. <laughs> Um, so these are just puffed crackers. These are basically rice crackers and they come in. This one is corn, quinoa, and sesame. So this is a gluten-free cracker. They do taste like cardboards, but I oddly love them. I think they... So these little guys with a little schmear of nut butter, super quick, easy snack. Um, three of these guys are only 38 calories. It's a great vehicle for not that we count calories here but um very low calorie option for your nut butters and your avocado and it's just a nice little snack it's crunchy so basically i think they taste great because i like that little crunch um and just a little teeny schmear of a nut butter they're just easy quick and easy to go in the morning or as a snack as i said and speaking of on the go i also wanted to share um, Purely Elizabeth is one of my other store bought brands that I actually really like and they make um, often people miss cereal in the morning and most cereal really is not that healthy for you it's either loaded with sugar or you know basically anything that's coming out of an extruder and that it's packaged and all that kind of stuff so this kind of falls in line with that but these are this is a pretty darn clean um, cereal uh, very low sugar and also it has a mix of whole grains it has chia granola millet puffs um, and these come in these cute little containers that you can buy basically um, you can either find them in the grocery store or you can order them on Amazon um, Amazon's great for those kind of things if you can't find them in their store in your store um, but these are awesome just to go you can just pop in a little bit of non-dairy milk um, and you are ready to go. So quick breakfast, no excuses. Then as far as at a coffee shop, um, Pete's makes a really good simply oatmeal. Um, when you're traveling, Starbucks and Pete's are pretty great about um, having these little oatmeal options here. And again, the reason I like Pete's is that it includes flaxseed. Um, it comes with a little mix of dried blueberries. It really actually tastes really good and I love having that as an option <laughs> when traveling. So Pete's is pretty awesome. I like theirs. I actually have even on the weekend, if we're going there for coffee, um, I will eat their um, Simply Oatmeal as well. And Starbucks as well has some good options. So those are some quick and easy options for you. So no excuses. Let's go ahead and find something that you like. It doesn't have to be big, you guys. Just a little something to give your 
body a little energy in the morning and give your start that metabolism running okay so um, hope that we have provided you with plenty of breakfast options and I appreciate you for coming today and I will talk to you soon thank you I don't think I've been this nervous with the cold drink.